Anyway, on that note, we will now go to the Muppet Conference. Yeah, something um, that I give a shit about. Yeah. Uh, do you give a shit about Star Fox Zero? Uh, okay. So, um, when the, uh, when the Star Fox Zero thing happened, um, I, this was the only press conference that I sort of watched as it happened. Um, I was at work, and so I couldn't, I didn't have any audio. Um, and, and the first thing that some of our group said was, like, oh, the graphics. Um... I don't know. Are they, I think, do they look dated or something? Or I, well, see, that's the, where I'm having trouble because I, is that I, what they said? I, I well, yeah, I guess okay. they, they they don't look good or something. I don't know. Well, and and this is where I get get lost in the because I I don't I think they look good and and like yeah they looked fine to me. I mean I, I don't get I don't I will not play the game. I don't care about Star Fox. They I look, like Star they, Fox. They looked fine to me. It looks it looks good. I, I I'd be interested in this. I I like Star Fox sixty four. I'm a little like uh, like I don't know this. I would be interested in getting this game. Like okay. I, it, it it doesn't it immediately captures me because of the color. I love Star Fox. I like the idea of increasing the scope of Star Fox. You could do cool stuff with it. Okay. If you just sort of like updated the N64 style, probably. Yeah. Uh, it, it it just you know I'm immediately into it and and especially from in it like I'd be interested to see what they could try to do from an online perspective. Like it, it like. This could be a fun multiplayer game for the Wii U, like in, in the way that Splatoon kind of is. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. There's not a whole lot to talk about from that trailer, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I will say is that, like, holy shit. I do not want to wave around my gamepad. Get that out of here. Oh, that? Yeah. Uh, whatever. That is, that's the sort of thing where I see that, like, on a Nintendo game. And I'm like, no, 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 See, no, no, It no, doesn't bother no, me. No, no. I like that sort of thing sometimes. It, it depends on how it's done. But for the most part, I like that sort of thing. I mean, even even if I recognize, like, for example, like, I, I recognize the game as being good. Like, for example, um, you know, like, I played all the way through Galaxy 2, Mario Galaxy 2. Right. And the worst part of that game was that to do the little spin jump, I had to shake the nunchuck or whatever. Like that game would have been a thousand times better if I didn't have to you know, wiggle the fucking thing every time. I just, I just disagree. I just don't think it makes a big difference. I don't think it's that different from pressing a button, really. Which I guess is not an argument for motion control. I yeah. just, for someone like like I, 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 I played Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is one of my favorite games, and and a lot of people were like, "Oh God, the motion controls," and I never had trouble with them. Never. Not even once. Mm. And, and and so for me, like, complaining about motion controls, I'm just like, whatever. It doesn't, it, it so doesn't make a difference for me, though. And, okay. and, and, and I can't speak to other people's experiences. Yeah, yeah. But for me, I barely notice. It's only when it, it, it doesn't work at all. And for the most part, for Nintendo's first-person party games, they always work. Um, at least in my experience. Yeah. Uh, so the next... how hardcore that comes Yeah. <laughs> The next thing, uh, I know we, we talked about this at length last year, uh, Mario Maker. Yeah, we did. Um, we got to see some of it during the the, the final Is portions. Is that the next thing? I, I thought the next thing was um, uh, the Triforce Heroes. Uh, was it? No, I, well, they, they briefly mentioned Mario Maker, and then like they, they, have a, they have a longer Mario Maker thing at the end. Right. But, I mean, the, okay. I mean basically, I mean, we would, I mean... The, the things I, I would say about that, because we, we kind of got a, the, the biggest preview, really, that we got of Mario Maker was during the final round of the Nintendo World Championships. Right. And, um, and I mean, the good thing I will say is that, you know, they, they, they're having kind of several generations of Mario Maker that you can do it kind of in the style of elements from uh, Super Mario World or elements from the new Super Mario Brothers games, which is really cool. Um... You know, it's just obviously, you know, if you don't, if you never heard of full screen Mario, go look it up, find out what it was about. There's some Washington Post articles about it. And then just remember that we are never going to know whether or not Mario Maker was spurred by the existence of full screen Mario. Right. And we're, and we're simply never going to know that because um, Nintendo is a super secretive company. I recently read a book about Super Mario Brothers 2, the USA version, and the author was able to get very good primary source information from some former Nintendo employees, but anytime anyone tries to write a book about gaming history and ask Nintendo questions, Nintendo just says fuck off. 
Like, that's all they do. And I, I hate that. I hate that so much that they think that not only do they have to have super control over everything, but that they think that they can just withhold information from what? Super Mario Brothers 2 happened in, what, like, 89 or 88 right. or whatever? Right. Like, whatever. Get over yourself. All right, that's it's, me. That's me hating Nintendo. Right, right. It's just super <laughs> image control. Nintendo is Disney of the gaming market. Yeah, they absolutely. Just, they yeah. demand to have complete control of their own image, and and sometimes I, I respect that, and other times it's just it's it's like just flagrant sort of like like sort of egotism, you know, yeah, like yeah. like and, and that's sort of what you're talking about now. But anyway, um, um, you have anything else to say about Mario Maker? Or? No whatever okay. mario of of all the nintendo things i i nintendo is my jam uh, every, every single nintendo thing i have a, a relationship with mario is the one that i give the least amount of shits about probably okay. um i think mario's cool as a guy i respect him i know him personally um but a, a, as his games like his platformers i don't really like the 2d ones that much not yeah. that much but the 3d ones i love okay like uh, galaxy and sunshine yeah and, and 64 obviously but like yeah i have a closer relationship to those than i do the 2d ones and so for me mario maker whatever um so let's get into a uh, general discussion of uh amiibos uh i hate collectible shit i uh, want to burn it all uh, -huh. uh how do you feel i like them um i wish that it wasn't this weird uh fucking capitalist bullshit Let's make 30 and make sure that only the scalpers can buy them. And I just wish it wasn't a struggle to buy them. Like, for something that's a $10 little bullshit, like, statue, I just wish... It just, it's stupid that it's a struggle to get them. That's one thing I've always been real curious about. When you have, like, when you create artificial scarcity for those kinds of products. Like, because that's always, like... Because, like, you know, obviously the secondhand market is... To what extent does the primary seller benefit from a strong secondary market? I really have no idea. That's that's you know, a that's, that's that's out of my league. I, I that's the like... strongest feeling I have about them. Yeah. I'm glad that they exist as collectibles. I think collectibles can be a cool thing um, for for like a community of fandom to have. It, it depending, mm. but like you know, I especially like these because they're not expensive. Um, because that's the thing about like like like. Between the two of us, we have a friend whose whose father collects the, the expensive um, Marvel statues. Yeah, I, I don't. That's... And these statues are really impressive, but they're they're almost two hundred dollars. Like they're yeah. almost like they're almost like half a thousand dollars each. They're yeah, no, they're on the same scale as those uh, those expensive Nutcracker statues that right. uh, Lord Thorne's mother collects. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um. In any case, I don't know. I think they're fine. Um, I don't. I don't dislike them. I just wish it wasn't a struggle to get them. That's stupid. Yeah. That's yeah stupid. No. I, yeah. That's for sure. It's. Um. So, Triforce Warriors uh, yeah. seems like kind of a weird spiritual sequel to Four Swords. Um. Um. Okay. So I have a couple of thoughts about. Triforce. Yeah. I don't have any thoughts. Just go. Yeah. Okay. So, um, first and foremost, um, it looks cute. Um, I like the idea. Uh, I think that um, it's it's nice that we have this like this really interesting like or not interesting, but now we have this wireless technology like that um, Nintendo's multiplayer handheld attempts are so much less cumbersome than they used to be. Mm, yeah. Um, you know, because because this sort of game existed as a sort of add-on to Link to the Past for the Game Boy Advance, but you could only play it if everyone had that game and everyone had a Game Boy Advance and everyone had a cable. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, and and that's a classic Nintendo thing. Um, in any case, about the game itself, um, I think one of the things that's interesting about Zelda, more than some of Nintendo's other properties, is that Zelda has has a different core identity depending on what like like era of Zelda you're playing. Um, and that's why we have the the boxes, the two D boxes and the three D boxes that people like to put themselves in. Right, right. Yeah. Um, because the core philosophy of the two D Zeldas are, is is kind of different from the core philosophy of the three D Zeldas. And um, what's nice about this one is that it seems to just be it wants to chime in on what the two D Zeldas are for. And some people would say exploration, but for me, the two D Zeldas are more the puzzle. Yeah. Like, like sorts of experience um and the 3d zeldas are more of the narrative and i would say 3d combat experiences um the 2d zelda games do not have a focus on combat they 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 are not combat heavy like like 
even enemies you fight in 2D Zeldas are just little puzzles, basically. I mean, you can make an argument that any combat you do is solving a puzzle. Like, you know, how do you find the weak point of this particular enemy? But Triforce uh, uh, Heroes, I, I think, is appealing to a more... so a, a Nintendo continues to stubbornly make Zelda games that are not for quote-unquote gamers, people who have who just play video games and, and, like, that is their main hobby. They continue to make games, especially Zelda games, that are intended to be for everybody, and I think this is, like, very much mm. that. Especially with the dress-up stuff. Like, the... And the dress-up stuff looks cute. I'm glad that, that, that it exists, and I'm glad that uh, Link has joined the, the ranks of Cloud of appearing in their game as in a dress. Um... But uh, I I don't know I I'll get it because it's a Zelda game and 3DS games are great so uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a little bummed that Purple's not in it um, <laughs> it's a little bummed that he he gets left out yeah but, uh, yeah uh, on that note um, do you have any I I will say that the fact that there's going to be a 3DS port of uh, Hyrule Warriors uh, I, I'm actually more interested in that game on 3DS than I would be on Wii U I think okay so um, Hyrule Warriors is amazing. And, um, or let me, let me, let me back up a bit. Okay. Um, Hyrule Warriors is a Dynasty Warriors game. That's right. Um, yeah. But it is a Dynasty Warriors game with a Zelda skin on top of it. And, um, there's so much good attention paid to representing the characters in an honest way. Um, and there's so much good design philosophy in, 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 and it references with each character it will reference like every incarnation of that character and Zelda has you know Zelda characters have many incarnations um, like for example just to break it down real quick um, Ganondorf is is styled in a way that makes him look like Demise who is the main villain of Skyward Sword but he also references his style from Twilight Princess and his look and he dual wields swords, which is a reference to his Wind Waker incarnation. Mm. Basically, it's just a really for for. I'm surprised that it has so much good attention to detail in that regard. It, it, in that, like, it, it feels like they had a lot of notes on every character. You know. Yeah. Um. And in the other thing that I think is really interesting about Hyrule Warriors is that it's a it's such a female focused game. There are so many more female characters than male characters in Hyrule Warriors. So many more. Um, and, and it has more to do with just, like, it, it, Zelda has more notable female characters than male, really. Mm, like, yeah, most, yeah. The most notable male characters are Link and Ganondorf, and that's pretty much it. Um, the rest of them, like Zelda and Rudo and Midna and Agatha and Sheik and Sia and, like, they, they, that's, and Impa, it's, it's, the game itself, to talk about the game itself, it's Dynasty Warriors. It's yeah. Dynasty Warriors with a lot of depth, um, the, the, it, it, the, the, uh, uh, attacks the attacking feels like good and crisp and responsive, and I and I think this game would be good in the handheld form. Like yeah. I, I think having your map on the lower screen while the up up the the top screen is your action, like, it, is, it will work well. And I'm interested in playing as Tetra, mm. who is a handheld uh, edition. Okay. Um. Anyway, the next game that I will be buying for the 3ds. Of course, you will is 100% going to be Fire Emblem Fates. Yes, yes. It's yes. not even a second thought, because I Fire loved Emblem. Awakening. Fire Emblem, Renegade, or Paragon, you mean? Um, I mean, whatever. I'll, I, You know what? I, I think the fucking two games or whatever, I, I don't know if it's two games worth of content, but I'm going to buy both of them. Whatever. Oh, no, no, no. Come What's at going me, on with Fire Emblem Fates is uh, you pick a, a faction at some point in the game, and, okay. and one is a... Is, uh, from what I understand, I thought there were gonna be is, two games. Is uh, is it gonna be two games? I, wait, 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 I'm, I'm gonna Google this right now. I had read that there that because right because it's supposed to be two it's, it's two different game. I mean, two different uh, factions or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be available in two versions. Um, I'm pretty. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. See, I misunderstood. I no. thought it was gonna be. No, I think that, that was my impression from the original announcements, but my understanding from after E3 was that it's going to have, um, you know. I thought at a certain point in the game, you chose between uh, either the, the, the more traditional Fire Emblem sort of style, and then the other faction is a more aggressive, like... Not as much of a... Because a, a, in Fire Emblem, largely you are defending from attacking yeah. forces. 
Um, and 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 the the catch with this other faction was supposed to be the opposite end, you know. Right. It's because yeah, it's going to be available in two versions: Birthright and Conquest. Oh, okay. That's kind of a bummer. I do not like that as much, but that's fine. I love Fire Emblem. Right. Yeah. It's like God damn it, I love it anyway. So what, how are we going to talk about this other thing? This uh, this the Fire Emblem Cross Persona. Yes, that one. Yeah, looks, that one. looks like the most batshit, insane anime thing I've ever witnessed in my I life. Just, just, I'm just surprised that this is the direction they went. I don't know if anyone wanted this. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I never asked for this. Yeah, exactly. I just, I don't, I don't know. I'm not someone who's who like things can be too anime for. That's not my. I, I'm, I am, I am 100 down on anime. Um, I don't like this. At least from what, what is I, it even about? Like it just looks like like I can't even tell what the game is. <laughs> I just I just wish I don't know I don't know if I like this. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, here's what they're banking on. Okay, they're banking on the fact that both of these series are JRPGs, but they are also fucking like dating sims. That's you know, true. they're true. both like that. Yep. And, and I guess they're trying to bank on both of them having this sort of like like i don't know it's so bizarre yeah no i don't know i'm, I'm curious to see what happens yeah we'll see what happens i guess i don't know if i'll play this but we'll yeah. see um are you and i i know you have uh you have uh, a, a a a personal associate a who who loves um the tom nook and his ilk yeah um are, are you how do you feel about happy home design did you get the feedback on Happy Home Designer responses from your inside source. Oh uh, yeah, no. Ha um, Happy Home Designer looks great. It yeah. looks like um, it looks like what you do in Animal Crossing, but with a goal. Mm. So that will be fun, I think. Are, are we not going to talk about Xenoblade? Oh, did I did I just forget to write that down? Uh, you might have, because Xenoblade comes after before the Animal Crossing one. Did I really not write that down? Yeah, there's a Xenoblade Chronicles X trailer. Uh, I mean, there's not much to talk about. Xenoblade Chronicles X is out in Japan. Yeah, well, okay, Xenoblade Chronicles X um, will be the game that I probably get for Wii U after I buy Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Right, I mean, um. Um, Xenoblade, <laughs> Xenoblade is interesting because, for us because, you know, like, we're working our way through Xenogears right it's now. It's true, and, it's true. And this is, this is some of the same people are behind this game. And, um... Specifically, uh, the the director, the writer of the Xeno series, uh, Tetsuya Takahashi, um, and you can see him all over this game. Like at least with the mechs, like like yeah, it's so yeah. Xenosaga y and that's where I'm interested. This looks very Xenosaga y especially compared to Xenoblade, the the first, you know. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'll get this game. Cool. Uh, uh, Yoshi's Woolly World cool looks cool i yeah. i might get it i know my associate will get it yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. uh yeah i'm i don't know um, yeah platformer though so i don't know well yo what what is speaking of things that were maybe questionably anime uh yokai watch oh uh is yeah is that a thing is that uh yeah the um pokemon that's cool okay yeah, it's pretty much. Yeah, it's Yokai Watch. I get it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't have much to say. <laughs> uh, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam seems weird because I don't. It, I feel. I feel like the the people want a real Paper Mario game, and this is not it. Well, see, okay. So the thing that I think is interesting about this is is the sort of like. <sighs> Okay, so it's funny because it's like people want a Paper Mario game, but I think the people who want a Paper Mario game are also people who secretly just want Super Mario RPG 2. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe, they yeah. Are, like, the Mario and Luigi games are JRPGs, or at least they were. Yeah. Um, and um, and this one is it looks like it'll have some turn-based combat going on, too. Uh, it just, it just, I don't know. I just wonder why they stubbornly refuse to do it in a, in a Super Mario RPG style. I do not know what... Um, the relationship between Nintendo and Squeenix is these yeah, days. Yeah, what sort of bad blood? Yeah, so I don't know. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. Um, all right, and I already mentioned Ultra Smash. Looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, Mario yeah. Tennis. Mario Tennis is great. Yeah. Um, I think that covers everything with Nintendo, yeah? 
Yeah, more or less, because the last bit of it is is all like um, like demoing Star Fox Zero kind of. Oh uh, yeah, the treehouse stuff. I yeah, didn't, I didn't watch.